Dami. <laughs> da, wala siya sa stage, kaya pwede akong gumanti ngayon. Okay. Um, this was a time I was supposed to tour in Europe. And yung tour ko po is, how many days lang po yun? I think it's just 10 days. Pero he was so, uh, he was stopping me. Sabi niya, why? Why do you have to go? Why? I'm gonna miss you. So he, he got up, went to the bathroom. I don't remember for how long. But when he came back, that was the birth of Don't Say Goodbye. And the rest is history. And now I can say, I too have a hit song from Louis Ocampo. If you know the song, please sing along with me.
thank you, Pops. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Pops Fernandez. the name of that song was paradise <laughs> don't ask me why or how i wrote a song at that moment of truth entitled paradise but louie and i would call each other and give each other melodies and lyrics like the time you're just about to get married remember that yes yes Do you remember that song of course of course it was a magical moment he my best friend was getting married he even made me the best man because the real best man couldn't make it. <laughs> so I've always been second choice to this gentleman here, as you can see. But having said that, we have a friendship that goes back way than even some marriages, you know? Yeah, longer. Longer than, longer. yes, longer. right? We've been to, with each other. We've not been with each other. We, <clears throat> we've been together. We've been, we've been friends for many, many years. And within our friendship, it just so happens we're happy at the same time and we're sad at the same time and it was during this song that he was the happiest jojo can we do a little just a little sample of the song we wrote for his wedding and it goes like this put it down oh yeah down the aisle right i have been searching all my life Hoping someday I would find a love that will last forever. Then there was you who touched my heart. I knew it from the start that we belong together from now. You good? Nothing. It's real, you know. It's real. 45 years in the business. On stage for three hours. So, back in the day, he would escape. Now we cannot escape. You are the star of the show tonight, my friend. This is your night. 45 years and counting. Any regrets? No, no regrets. No, no regrets? No regrets. Was there a song that you wrote that you didn't like? Ever? What? Well, but you are a very talented composer, yes? Just Could you write a song in two seconds? Can you write it in two seconds? If I have. Can you write a song on the spot? Yeah. This is not in the script. Just follow me. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Is there anyone here celebrating anything besides Christy? Anyone? Are you married? You're not married? You're supposed to come tomorrow. <laughs> Didn't you get the memo? <laughs> No, you know, is anyone, are you, husband and, I need a husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, two guys, two girls, I don't care what, are you, are you together? How long have you been married? 25 years, you look like you're 25, what happened? <laughs> Seriously? 25, what's your name? Kito and Kita? Kito and? 
Sai? What's your name? Oh, that's your name, Sai. Okay. Tito and Sai. Married for 25 years. Where did you meet? At school. Same? Just making sure. <laughs> Might be someone else. Look at this guy. <laughs> um, 25 years they met in school. Yeah. And in this school, how did you know it was love? I mean, what was that? I have to fast forward. It's not my show. Is it Tom? Hi, hey, Tom. Huh? How did you know it was love? It just hit you? Sai hit you? That's a different sport now. <laughs> I like it. Sai, Sai and Kito met in school, which means they knew nothing about love until they met each other. So every time he'd meet you, he'd say, Sai. <laughs> and Kito would say to Sai, from the moment I met you, on the day we were side by side. You get it? Let me do it again. Side by side. I knew what you do for me. Then Kito, Kito, right, said to Sai, Now my life has new meaning, and the story can be told that one day you'd marry me. Then Sai says, there's a time for some laughter, a time for some tears, a time for forever. Kito, come here. I can see behind your glasses, you're as sweet as molasses. Very good. My hope and my dreams would be for you. And then he said, how can I live if I'm without you? Sai. One time. Sai, one. I spend my life dreaming life with only you. Sai. I want to spend my lifetime, Gito, in love with you. Sai. No other love. song has a happy ending right one day we're on tour he gets a call back then it was <laughs> over that was the cell phone before remember with the yeah, long yeah, antenna radio, yeah, yeah. radio radio VHF, right? UHF UHF what is that VHF and UHF are you talking to me in code is that yeah me? oh you mean the radio, the radio, I, thought, the radio. I thought you're telling me my zipper's down or something or <laughs> you love me <laughs> you know VHF MOD LOP whatever uh, it was a VHS F VHS is the tape. tape. Better, children, Better Max, VHS. VHF. VHF, okay. He got a call from the hospital, yeah. I guess. Yeah, the hospital. Telling him that his wife is about to give premature birth, right? And he had to rush to her only to find out he came a little bit too late. That's the saddest song he's ever written, the saddest song he ever blessed me with. And I think you all know this song. Everyone somehow can relate to this song, especially during the pandemic. So many things happened where we couldn't touch, couldn't have one last hug. Some of us lost people in our lives. And this is the song that they leaned toward. The painful song written by Louis Ocampo and his Alan Ike wrote this beautiful song. The original singer, I have to say, is the beautiful voice of Vernie Varga. And for a woman to sing this song is even more painful. 
because they lost something so precious. This is that song that was just the story.
na iyong nakailanman Hindi ka na mag-isa na iyong maaasahan mo Ngayon at kailanman Dahil kaya sa'yo Nagbaitaghanan ako'y isilang santo Upang sa araw-araw ay siyang makapiling mo Upang ngayon na kailanman Ako 45 years na, ikaw naman, 20, 20 years na sa industry, di ba? Totoo yan, Sir Lee. 20 years. 20 years na. Bata tell ba? us why, <laughs> tell us why ngayon at kailanman was instrumental in your career. Uh, hindi ko makakalimutan yan, Sir Lee, dahil yan yung uh, kinanta ko ng grand finals ng Star Fortnite, yung same contest, kung saan po ako natalo. <laughs> Palakpak pa rin. Dahil, <laughs> no? Not because of the song, but siyempre, si Sarah Jeronimo, ang aking kalaban. So, ayun, nanalo po siya. At ako ang natalo. Pero okay lang. Nandito pa rin ako sa Soler. Ibang ta. And uh, of course, uh, memorable din yan, uh, Sir Louis, dahil sinama rin yan sa aking first album. So, narecord ko rin siya ng uh, ang aking pong version ng Ngayon at Kailanman. Mas, mas malumanay. Mas, 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 mas bagay sa akin. Mas, uh, yes. Mas, uh, ano, um, Mas tahimik ang version. Hugot. Yung mas hugot. Oh, hugot, yeah. hugot. When it so happens that aside from the song, Ikaw, one of my 
collaborations with George Canseco was this theme song from a star cinema movie, Nasaan Kaman, originally recorded by Martin Nieves. Yes. So hope you like this one. Relax. Isn't he doing a great job? In my whole career, I've never had a solo show here, the theater at Soler, three times. Louis Ocampo is the only one who can do that. With the amount of songs that you have, that's a beautiful song, by the way. Nasaan Kaman was the answer to your Ikao. You knew this, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, George Canseco wrote this after he wrote Ikao for his wife, and then he joined her, and probably she probably got, uh, you know, what he wanted is to be with his wife. But you, my friend, yes. 45 years in the business. Yeah? He's an old guy. I could tell you all stories. We could be here all night if you want. The truth's behind Louis Ocampo. I like this next song. Hit it. Who did he really write this song for? For you? For you? All I know is... It was intended for me, but Basil Valdez got it. So now, 2023, in front of one and all, let's do it the way we should have done it 40 years ago. You ready? I literally said no. Guy with lots of hair, with a briefcase. Hey, Mr. Nivera, I've got some songs for you. You look like a drug dealer. And I said no, because my album was finished. I thought you're only supposed to do one album and you're a superstar. That's what I thought at the age of 19. Now at the age of 34. I get to sing my favorite Louis Ocampo composition. My moon starts to shine with teardrops in my eyes. And here I am alone, starting to realize that my days would be brighter if I could learn to hide the feelings that I have for you keep hurting me inside. Then 
my day begins with simple thoughts of you. I'm hoping that tomorrow will be me and you sharing dreams with each other, making them come true, holding one another, saying all of That's inside.